Hello and welcome to the news with me, Lily Dodds and Beth Warden. Firstly, over to the news with Beth. The weather, sorry. Okay, so around Dublin it's mainly patches of rain, but mostly it's sunny. And as we come up towards Bristol, luckily for us we're going to have a white Christmas. Then as we head our way down towards France, unfortunately for them, it's quite rainy over there, so never mind. Now, over to the news with Lily. I am looking forward to Christmas. Mm. Now for our first story, the problem. Around 1095, a new group of Arabs took control of Jerusalem, the closest city to Jewish and Christian pilgrims. The solution, the Pope acted. He called for a crusade, a volunteer army whose goal was to retake Jerusalem. Many people volunteered. About 30,000 men left Western Europe to fight in Jerusalem. For knights, this was a chance to use their fighting skills, something they enjoyed and did well. They were delighted to have such a worthy battle to fight. For peasants, this was a chance to escape from their dreary life in the feudal system. The Pope promised that if they died while fighting a holy crusade, they would automatically be welcomed into heaven. For others, it was a chance to have an adventure and perhaps even to get rich. <clears throat> the sign of the crusade, the Red Cross. Each crusader had a huge red cross made out of fabric stitched onto their shirts or armour. It made all crusaders, irrespective or rank of the background, appear to be in the unified army. It reminded the crusaders that they were fighting for a holy cause. The red cross was added to flags and banners. The results. After about two years of harsh travelling, hunger, disease and freezing weather, and quarrels amongst themselves. The Crusaders finally <clears throat> the Crusaders finally arrived in Jerusalem. After a two month siege of the city, it fell. The Crusaders won back Jerusalem. Some men stayed, some headed home. Those who returned brought those who returned brought back new foods and new forms of culture. More crusades. It was a short victory. Less than 50 years later, Muslims once again conquered <coughs> Jerusalem. Again, the Pope called for a crusade to take back the city. The second crusade lasted from 1147 to 1149. It was not successful. The third crusade lasted from 1189 to 1192. It was not successful. The fourth crusade lasted from 1202 to 1204. Instead of attacking Jerusalem, the Crusaders attacked the Candanopole. <laughs> they stole? <laughs> Christmas. Sorry, I'm very happy about Christmas. They stole statues, money, paintings and jewellery. They burned libraries. They destroyed churches. Their ridiculous excuse was that they needed money to defend Constantinople from the same... <laughs> On the same page. Oh, Jerusalem! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just um, very happy. The people of Constantinople did not find this excuse acceptable and they were filled with hatred for the West. The Children's Crusade in 1212 12, was a terrible tragedy. Many thousands of French and German children died trying to reach Jerusalem. They believed God would help them because they were children. Many died of hunger, others froze to death. When the survivors reached the Mediterranean Sea, they expected the waters to part and let those let them pass. When this did not happen, those who were left returned to Mali home. Over the next 70 years, there were several other crusade attempts, but they were motively, motivated more by personal gain than religious purpose. None succeeded. By 1291, over 200 years after the First Crusade, European leaders lost interest. Western Europe never admitted defeat. They simply stopped asking for new crusaders. Thank you for listening to the news. See you next time. Bye! Bye.